Did there come a time, Mr. Wiggum, when you became Mr. Depp's agent? Yes. When was that? Right, right around October, I believe, fall of 2016. How would you describe for the jury Mr. Depp's demeanor on those occasions? Objection relevant. All right. What's the relevance? The relevance is how he how he conducts himself professionally, which relates to his reputation, which is at issue. All right, I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. Johnny was always very nice, sweet, in fact, um, you know, artistic, uh, polite, and, you know, very thoughtful, you know, kind of uniquely thoughtful about how are you doing? How's your family? You know, he was, he was, he was just a thoughtful person. He always has been. Did he seem, gen did he seem genuine? Objection leading. Oh, I'll sustain the objection. To what extent, if any, did he seem genuine? Obje I'm going to object. How, how would he know? I'm not sure what objection that is. Or a speculation. A speculation. Foundation. I, I believe he can, he can testify right. as to that. I'll allow it. Go ahead. I found Johnny to be authentic. You know, it was a, a genuine uh, kindness. And before you took over from Tracy Jacobs as Mr. Depp's agent, what, if any, research or due diligence did you do with respect to him? Objection uh, relevance? Right. What, what's Again, relevance? Your Honor, it goes to reputation, which is this, the core of the I issue. And, I'll, I'll, sustain the, I'll sustain the objection. Next but, question. Thank you, Your Honor. Were you aware of Mr. Depp's professional reputation at the time you became his agent in October of 2016? I, I would say objection leading, and I think it's going to call for hearsay. I'll overrule at this point. Go ahead. I believe I was. What was your understanding, if any, of Mr. Depp's professional reputation at the time you began representing him as his agent in the fall of 2016? Uh, Johnny's reputation, in my opinion, was very, he was very well regarded and respected by peers uh, in the artistic community. Um, <laughs> Your Honor, Your Honor I'm, I'm going to object. He, first of all, he says in his opinion, which he's not an expert witness, and second, he's now going into hearsay. No, I'll, I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. Her, Mr. Wiggum, <laughs> Her Honor, yeah. you may continue. She's just trying to uh, stop this well testimony. Regarded, respected, extremely talented, artistic. What was Mr. Depp's compensation for City of Lies? I believe it was $8 million. What was Mr. Depp's compensation for murder on the Orient Express? I, if memory serves me, I think it was $10 million. Uh, what was Mr. Depp's compensation for crimes of Grindelwald? Again, that, that deal predated us. I think it was $13.5 million if I remember correctly. How much compensation, if any, did he receive for performing in that smaller that film, The busy. Professor? We need a loan. We all need a loan. That deal was uh, three and a half million. Mr. Wiggum, was 2017 a typical year for Mr. Depp in terms of the workload uh, for an actor of his caliber and track record? Objection leading. Overruled. I'll allow it. Go ahead. Uh, a film called Waiting for the Barbarians uh, and a film called Minamata. What was Mr. Depp paid for Waiting for the Barbarians? One million dollars. How much was Mr. Depp ultimately paid for Minamata? So his, 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 fee, his fee became, it was three million dollars. What, if any, role did Mr. Depp play in Pirates of the Caribbean 5? He played uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Was he paid an actor's fee for that film? Of course. I want to hear this number. Uh, uh, technically, it was before my tenure, uh, so, uh, but yes, I would assume he was. Mr. Wiggum, would you please explain for the jury what are residual or back-end rights? I think the easiest way to explain a back end is, is it's an ownership stake on behalf of the artist uh, in the success of the movie and typically is only granted to stars of a certain stature. 
And in addition to the fee, Mr. Depp, the upfront fee that Mr. Depp was paid for Fantastic Beasts 5, which I know preceded you, uh, what, if any, did understand, what, if any, understanding do you have of whether Mr. Depp had any back-end rights for Pirates 5? Objection, Your Honor. Foundation, foundation. He said that deal was uh, at, at the other agency, and he doesn't. He wasn't. I'll allow it if he knows it. That's fine. Go ahead. Her Honor says uh, you may answer you, the question. Yeah, you, so you initially said Fantastic Beast. I think you meant Pirate Five. Uh, oh, I, I apologize. Pirates, I, I did mean yeah. for Pirates Five. Uh, what, if any, back end did Mr. Depp have for Pirates Five? Uh, I don't know what it was. I know that he had one. To, to what extent, if any, did Mr. Depp ever have a deal to perform in Pirate 6? This is a big one right here. So when we started representing him, I remember Brian Lord and myself finishing a deal that had started at the previous agency. Objection, Your Honor. May we approach? The... Okay. Oh, they don't Hold see. They really don't want this to come in there because if they, if they find out that he had a deal, and they pulled it from underneath. Uh, pulled it from underneath his feet as a result of the Amber Heard. That is, I think that speaks directly to the suit. Look at her; she's trying to she's trying to litigate her ass off right here to to prevent this from coming in. Look at her; she she's she's pleading like her life is on the line. <laughs> Your Honor, we can't allow all this in there. If he goes through, it's definitely gonna it's definitely gonna it's gonna make the case. Yeah, it's going to prove their case. So, so, so we're just going to keep objecting every chance we get. Every chance. I'm going to get up out of my chair. Okay, I'm an older lady. And you got, I know I got bad knees, Your Honor. I'm going to keep objecting and objecting and objecting and objecting and objecting. Okay, fine. <laughs> I feel like that's what's happening in those in those little huddles. I feel it. I really do. <laughs> it's a huge part. Interruption, Mr. Wiggum. Uh, Her Honor says you may answer the question. Oh, no, let's go. To what extent, uh, if any, did Mr. Depp have ever have a deal to perform in Pirates 6? So we, we finished the deal, and then we closed the deal at $22.5 million. Is my memory. God damn. Dog. Which, studio, which studio was involved in the Pirates series, including Pirates 6? So that was uh, Disney. Was Disney the studio involved in all of the Pirates movies? Yes. What role uh, was Mr. Depp to play in Pirate 6? Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, I love it. So, uh, how's the speculation? Captain Jack Sparrow. Was the $22.5 million to be paid to Mr. Depp by Disney or by some other entity? Disney. And when was that $22.5 million to be paid uh, to Mr. Depp? It would be paid when he shoots it. We call it principal photography, so when the film shoots. Who was the producer of the Pirates franchise? Jerry Bruckheimer. Does Mr. Bruckheimer work for Disney? No. In 2017, to what extent, if any, was Mr. Bruckheimer Heimer, supportive of Mr. Depp remaining in the Pirates franchise. Objection, Your Honor. Calls for hearing. I'll, I'll sustain objection. Thank you, Your Honor. Putting aside his role in the Pirates films, did Mr. Depp have any other affiliations with Disney in 2017? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yes. What were those affiliations? He, if I remember, in the spring. You know, he, he went down to Disneyland and, and put on the Captain Jack Sparrow outfit and uh, wardrobe and, and went into the ride. Disney, he and Disney had worked out a fun little thing where he was going to take the place of the automated, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow on the on the Pirates ride. And so he would kind of surprise people as they were going along there. And so I remember he did that. And then. In 2000, in May of 2017, we, uh, he went to uh, Disney Shanghai to help open the Pirates of the Caribbean ride there. Uh, what, if anything, did those affiliations signify about the status of Mr. Depp's relationship with Disney as of that time? Objection, Your Honor. Uh, I'll just 
I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, to what extent, if any, did Mr. Depp socialize with anyone at Disney in 2017, to the extent you know? Objection, Your Honor. I'll allow it to the extent he knows. Do you know whether Mr. Depp socialized with Disney during 2017, yes or no? Objection, Your Honor. Foundation and Pearson. I do. Uh, if you could lay a foundation to how he knows. I, 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 how do you know that Mr. Depp uh, socialized with Disney in calendar year 2017? Because I was there. Who, <laughs> um, uh, what, if anything, was your understanding of the status of whether Mr. Depp would actually appear in Pirate 6? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for hearsay. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Mr. Wiggum, did there come a time when you saw an op-ed that purportedly written by Amber Heard that appeared in the Washington Post? Yes. Mr. Wiggum, I would like to show you, please, uh, what was entered previously into evidence as Plaintiff's Exhibit 1. Uh, Mr. Gibson, would you please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1? And, Your Honor, uh, may we please publish this to the jury as it's been previously... Oh, it is. Thank you. It's, I believe it's the... Uh, opinionated op-ed uh, in the Washington Post that Ms. Hurd uh, wrote. Mr. Wiggum, when did you first see Ms. Hurd's op-ed in the Washington Post? It would have it would have been right contemporaneous when it came out. And Tom, if you would please move ahead to I believe the second page in plaintiff's exhibit. You probably is going to sell them. Um, and drawing your attention specifically to the third paragraph of the op-ed, Ms. Hurd writes, quote, <laughs> two years sure. ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women, for women who speak out, unquote. What, if anything, what, if any, understanding do you have of that reference? That it was regarding Johnny and uh, their relationship. Directing your attention, uh, Tom, if we could just move back up to the first page of Exhibit 1. Uh, directing your attention to the title of the article, quote, Amber Heard, colon, I spoke up against sexual violence, unquote. What, if any, understanding do you have of that reference? Objection, Your Honor. It's irrelevant what his understanding is. Uh, I'll, I'll allow it. It's not, it is relevant. That was uh, that was rather shocking. I remember because it was the first time I'd heard an allegation of sexual abuse. And against whom was the allegation of sexual abuse? Objection, Your Honor. How would he know? I'll sustain the objection. Next question, Mr. Wiggum, directing your attention to the fifth paragraph of Plaintiff's Exhibit One. Ms. Hurd writes, "Quote." I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse, unquote. To what does that refer? Objection, Your Honor. How would he know where it was? Uh, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Oh, come on. Uh, Mr. Gibson, if you would please take down Plaintiff's Exhibit 1. Mr. Wiggum, how, if at all, was Ms. Hurd's op-ed different from other articles about the couple's relationship? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for hearsay foundation. All right. Other You're, articles? Mr. Wiggum, had you seen other articles in the course of your duties as Mr. Depp's agent about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? Objection, Your Honor. Still. Yeah. <laughs> Out loud. Thank you. Um, how, if at all... Yo, this woman's going to have arthritis in both her goddamn knees by the time this, this, this one... Uh, witness is done testifying. Yo, are you kidding me? How many is that already? I'm literally going to have to make this into a YouTube video of how many times she objects during the testimony. It's hilarious. All was the op-ed different from other articles you had read about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard relationship? It, you know, it was a first-person account coming from the victim. Uh, it's extremely impactful. Impactful in a, in a good or bad way. For, on, you know, with respect to Johnny, it, it was it was catastrophic because it was coming from 
you, you know, uh, a first person account. It was not from a journalist. It was not from someone observing. It was from someone saying this happened to me. There it is. That's Mr. big. Wigan, between December 18, 2018. That's big. The date of the op-ed and October 2020. Did Mr. Depp perform in any studio films? Sorry, could you, could you just repeat the dates? Between December 18th, 2018, which is the date that Ms. Hurd's op-ed appeared, and October 2020, to what extent, if any, did Mr. Depp perform in any studio films? Zero, no studio Bam. films. Bam. How, if at all, did Ms. Hurd's op-ed impact Mr. Depp's ability to land roles in studio films between December 2018 and October 2020. Objection, Your Honor, calls for hearsay foundation and expert. I'll expert. sustain that objection. Next. Oh, come on. Are you near the end, Mr. Chu? I just want to make sure because it's I coming am, up on our morning break. Okay. I, right. I'm a, I have probably five minutes. Okay, that's good. Go ahead. Uh, what effect, if any, did the op ed have on the release of Minimata, the indie film you mentioned objection, earlier? Objection, Your Honor, calls for hearsay, spe hearsay speculation. He's, and he worked on the approach for a moment. Sure. Yes, Your Honor. She's just at this point. She's gonna object just for fucking objection's sake, because they, this is damning. He's the agent that can directly say Johnny was popping. We had these deals. We had these movies. He was making twenty three here. He's making three mil here. He was making all these M's everywhere. And then the article comes out. It was detrimental to Johnny with respect to Johnny. He just said. And then what about this movie? How much? In da, da, da? It's like zero. Like, yo, this is, this is, I mean, this is the, connecting the dots. This is. What happened, Mr. Wiggum, after the op ed, but before October 2020, with respect to Minimata? So the, the op ed came out in December, and it was, it was right as we were going on Christmas break, and, uh, our Minamata was supposed to start in January, and I, I remember it was very, very difficult to keep Minamata together. The, the financing became shaky. The, the budget had to come down. Johnny's fee came down in order to save the movie. Tom, if you would please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 584, and we're not asking to publish it because it does not come in. Uh, this is an email chain with the subject line, quote, uh, Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow won't return. I object to him reading right. even from that to the jury. That's fine, Your Honor. We okay. can. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wiggum, Mr. Wiggum, directing your attention to the middle email message on Plaintiff's Exhibit 584. Did you receive this ready. message from Christian the Marino in or about December 20th, 2018 <laughs> at 3.26 p.m.? Your Honor, I'm going to object because it's a hearsay document. He's asking questions from the hearsay well, document. I'll allow, double that, I'll, allow, I'll allow that question. We'll see oh, it's go. double hearsay? Is, was she Your about Honor, to say it was double hearsay? That question. Yes. I, he's asked, I see, you know, I see what he's asking me. Would you please explain to the jury what the it's message happening is right about? Now. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Hearsay. He's asking him to, to essentially say if we want to approach for a moment. I, I hope the judge says, "Listen, lady, fucking object. Give me a different thing to object. You keep saying hearsay. You're just gonna, you're just milking the hearsay. You're just milking it. Even Amber's looking like, fuck. How many hearsays can she actually object to? She's <laughs> it's a double hearsay, like a Uno reverse card. True, true. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, man. She's gonna have arthritis in her knees." from all these objections did you see her she was she was rocking in her chair getting ready to pounce like a fucking lion on a gazelle <laughs> Tom, if you could please that down. all right all right let me shut up after miss Hurd's publication of the op-ed on december 18 2018 but before october 2020 that you learned more about disney's plans about whether it would cast mr depp in pirate six objection hearsay all right I'm just asking whether he... Okay, I'll allow, allow that. Yes. When did that happen? In 2019. What yeah. happened? Okay. Go ahead. No, Your Honor. Next, next question. 
What, okay. what happened in 2019 <laughs> with respect to Disney, your learning about Disney's plans, uh, whether to use Mr. Depp and Objection. Objection. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What happened? We're not going to get through this. Yes. I'll allow what happened. Go ahead. It became clear they were going in a different direction. When did you learn up, that Disney was going in a different direction and no longer planned to use Mr. Depp and Pirate 6? Early 2019. Who is Margot Robbie? Well, she's fine as fuck. That's who Margot she's Robbie is. She's the actress. Um, she's a client of CAA. What, if anything, did you learn about the role Margot Robbie would be playing in Pirate 6? Oh, they were going to put her in Pirate 6? <gasps> I think that calls for hearsay. Uh, Again, Your Honor, I'm going to object. Uh, uh, I'll overrule the objection. To what extent did you reach out to Jerry Bruckheimer or Sean Bailey? Objection, Your Honor, calls for hearsay. But it does not, he, Your Honor. It does. Overruled, I'll allow it. Thank you, Your Honor. At this, wait, at this point, she's just throwing fucking hearsay objections up there like she's at the free throw line. And she's shooting it shit like Shaq. Just fucking hitting all rim, backboard. <laughs> like, these, like, God damn it. They don't want this. Like, we can all see. They do not want him giving none of the juice right now. They don't want him giving none of the goddamn juice connecting these goddamn dots about how she destroyed this man's career. You see that? I'm telling you. It's all brick shots. And I should mention real quick before we resume... I've been on a uh, Pirates rewatch. I've already watched the first three, so I'm starting four and then five. And I'm just going to keep replaying them on Disney Plus until this fucking trial is over. All right? I suggest you guys do the same. Just put it on. Don't even watch it. Just put it, hit play and walk away. Every chance you get. We go to work, put it on play, and just, let them, just loop them. I don't know. Just that will be our way to, like, let Disney know they should really try and make a six. Come, oh my god, you imagine they get Johnny for six? It's gonna be the the biggest thing ever. Did you reach out to Mr. Bruckheimer and Mr. Bailey jointly or separately? Separately. What, if anything, was the result of your outreach to Mr. Bruckheimer and Mr. Bailey? Calls for hearsay. I'm just asking what the result was. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. After your outreach to Mr. Bailey and, or strike that, was your outreach to Mr. Bruckheimer and Mr. Bailey successful? Objection leading. I'll allow it. Yeah. No. I successfully made contact with them, but I was not successful in rescuing pirates for Johnny. When was the last time you discussed Mr. Depp's role in Pirate 6 with Jerry Bruckheimer, Sean Bailey, or anyone else at Disney? I'm going to object, Your Honor, on hearsay. Uh, overruled. 2019, I believe. They're just trying to they're just trying to stonewall this whole testimony. In addition to Pirate 6, did Mr. Depp lose other films between December 2018 and October 2020 because of Ms. Hurd's op-ed? Objection. I'll sustain the objection. <laughs> why, is she look, why is she looking at him like in that? A, in addition <laughs> to Pirate 6, That's a thumbnail. did Mr. Depp lose any other films between December 2018 and October 20? Objection, Your Honor. First of all, I don't think he testified that he lost Pirate 6. Second of all, it's she's, a She's now contradicting uh, the witness's oh, testimony, no, which is no, ina inappropriate. Both of you, both way. of you, overruled. Let's go. Next, go ahead and answer the question. <sighs> this is getting ugly. Yes. You, you know, after, after the op-ed, it was hey, loop. impossible to get him a studio film, which is what we normally would have been focused on in that time period. Mr. Wiggum, to what extent did COVID, or strike that, to what extent, if any, did COVID, did COVID impact Mr. Depp's opportunities prior to October 2020? 
I, I think it had an effect on on Johnny, like uh, like other actors to some degree. Um, but we we were still doing business, especially on behalf of you know bigger stars that greenlit films. And so what was happening was we would we would close deals or you know put together a movie and then just set the start date for whenever people could get together and, and actually shoot the movie. Mr. Wiggum, in your many interactions with Mr. Depp, have you ever seen him angry? Objection, Your Honor, it's a meeting. Uh, I'll sustain us to leading. In your many interactions, thank you, Your Honor. In, in your many interactions with Mr. Depp, uh, to what extent, if any, have you ever seen him lose his temper? I never have, actually. To what extent, if any, has Mr. Depp ever raised his voice in your presence? No, he never has. Mr. Wiggum, to what extent have you ever seen Mr. Depp engage in any violence? Never. Mr. Wiggum, other than Ms. Hurd, are you aware of any other woman who has ever accused Mr. Depp of physical abuse? Objection, leading, foundation, and uh, I'll, I'll sustain the objection to leading. Okay. But in fact, Mr. Wiggum, it's not true that Mr. Depp ever had a contract with Disney for Pirate 6. Isn't that correct? Can you explain that question or that position? Have you ever seen a contract that provides for Mr. Depp to play Pirate 6? I, to the best of my knowledge, my memory, myself and my partner closed an, an optional picture deal for the amount of money of what that picture would be for Johnny. And you would you would make sure to have that in writing, wouldn't you? Oh, here we go. Technicalities. You know, that would normally go through legal counsel in terms of the codification of it. Do you have any explanation for why there exists nothing, no piece of paper, nothing suggesting that Mr. Depp ever had a deal with Disney for Pirate 6? Objection, lack of foundation, compound. Oh, I'll allow it. Oof. So, uh, I often close when I was an agent. We, we would work on many deals where I actually wouldn't see contracts. They were verbal in nature. And then, you know, especially on, on optional pictures, just so there was an understanding of what the money would be. So do you have an explanation why there is not even a piece of paper, not an email, not a text, not a piece, not a document, nothing that suggests that Mr. Depp is going to be in Pirate 6 as Jack Sparrow? Objection. Asked and answered. I, I don't believe it was. So overruled. I'll uh, it, I mean, if you're asking me my opinion, it wouldn't necessarily be alarming because that would be a conversation usually to understand Disney's going to want to know: Are we on the same? Uh, are we on the same uh, page about what the money's going to be? And most of that conversation, if I remember correctly, was also with one of Johnny's lawyers. Okay, and and so you you had so Johnny's lawyer was discussing this, but there's no document. Do you have an explanation I, for that? You may. Well, you may know better than me if there is a document, but that, that was Jake Bloom, you know, at the time, I believe, if memory serves me correct. All right. But you, would it be fair to say that you have never seen a document that provides that Mr. Depp was going to be in Pirate 6? It, it would be fair to say that it was consistent with a lot of the conversations that I would have on behalf of Big Stars, where it was verbal and there was an understanding of what the what the deal was going to be mr wiggum if you could please answer my question objection harassment he did answer the question <laughs> I'll, I'll allow you want to ask your question Go thank you harassment sure. it, what it, it would be fair to say that i have not seen a document on pirates now just so you know i don't I, mr wiggum mr wiggum okay. i don't i don't need you to give me extra i just want you to answer mine i just want <laughs> to know have you ever seen a document that says Mr. Depp is going to be in Pirate 6. I, I only, to, to fully answer the question though, I think there's, there's some context. That's, 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 it would, that's an easy yes or no. Have that. you seen a document? Te technically, 
I, I perhaps have because it connects to all the other pirates films. It's just a modification of a new document. So I, I have not seen 22.5 million written on a page. You're correct about that. Okay. Now, you, in fact, uh, had discussions back in 2016 and 2017 with Mr. Bailey, Sean Bailey. You talked about him a little bit ago, right? Yep. And, and, and you also had discussions with Jerry Bruckheimer in 2016 and 2017, correct? Yes. About Mr. Depp potentially being in Pirate 6, correct? And then you and then you had discussions in 2018 with Mr. Bailey, and he was quite non-committal about whether Mr. Depp would be in Pirate Six. Correct? Objection hearsay. That's fine. All right. Okay. Given that he was able to, I, uh, I'll sustain as to hearsay. It is okay. hearsay. All right. So you so you determined, Mr. Wiggum, that. By the fall of 2018, it was very likely that Mr. Depp was not going to be in Pirate 6. Is that correct? It's a two-pronged answer from my perspective, because there was really two individuals involved in that decision. I would say Jerry Bruckheimer and Sean Bailey. Jerry Bruckheimer in the fall of 2018 really wanted Johnny in that next film and Sean was non-committal as you said and Mr. Bruckheimer made it clear to you that Mr. Bailey was the one who gets to decide because he's Disney right ultimately and he also wanted to be the tip of the spear to really try to convince Sean okay now do you recall The level of anxiety from looking at their paper with all those sticky notes on it. Jesus Christ. Those are all probably Amber Heard stick, sticky notes. She stuck on there. She probably you stuck all her notes your on deposition there. taken on January 20, oh, 2021? Oh, God. They're, they're going to dig back into the deposition. Yes, ma'am. With you. Okay. Can you pull that up, Michelle, please? Thank you. I'm going to ask you to turn to page 44. And, Mr. Wiggum, you were under oath at the time of this deposition, correct? Correct? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Line 10. This is page 44, line 10. The question, do you recall approximately when in 2018 you inferred from Mr. your discussion with Mr. Bailey that the likelihood of Mr. Depp being in Pirate 6 was not high or was going away? And your answer at that time was, if memory serves me, the latter part of 2018, maybe. Question, when you say latter, is that any time from August to December, or what are you thinking? Answer, I would say fall, you know, maybe, you know, October, November, December, in that area. Do you recall giving that testimony under oath at that time? I, I do now that I see it, yes. Okay. And in fact, there were quite a few things going on earlier in 2018 that might have had a bit of an uh, 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 impact on Mr. Depp's reputation. Would you agree? Huh? Uh, if you, it might help if you refresh uh, your recollection. Sure, sure. But and before I go there, though, I think you said that the reason it was so catastrophic for Mr. Depp for the op-ed was because it was a first-person account of Johnny, right? Do you remember saying that? Yes. Okay. Wasn't it a first-person account when Ms. Heard filed for the TRO in 2016? So that, that would have predated any relationship I had to Johnny, so I had no knowledge of that. Okay, so you don't know whether it was catastrophic then? I, I, if you're asking me my opinion on, on something I don't know, I can form an opinion right now. Uh, it's a court document and probably a little different than an op-ed in the Washington Post. Um, but I would agree it's not a, now that I'm forming an opinion, that it's not a great headline for sure. When you read the op-ed, did you read it online or did you read it in the actual Post paper? 
I don't remember. Well, let's pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 2. John looks so unbothered, man. I love this guy. He looks so unbothered. Does this refresh your recollection? Now, there was, in fact, an article published in the Sun newspaper by Dan Wooten, the editor-in-chief, on April 27, 2018. Do you recall that? Now that I'm looking at it. Does that, that refresh your recollection? And, in fact, yes. this article calls Mr. Depp a wife beater, does it not? Objection hearsay. I, I allow it for the. Uh, you know what? I can't. I can't see the print, even with these glasses. But. Uh, All right. Well, we'll. I'll take your word for it. Well, the the title here is "How Can J.K. Rowling Be Genuinely Happy Casting Wife Beater Johnny Depp in the New Fantastic Beast Film?" Objection. Do you see that? Your Honor. I allow that. A lot of hearsay, huh? Yes. Okay. Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission of this exhibit. I, I think at this point it's not offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted, but it's going to offer it, He's testified to he, comparisons of other articles. He, he's, he's testifying to the impact of the op-ed. I think it's in fairness we should be able to put this in and be able to make the comparisons. It's clearly hearsay. Your Honor. Okay, I'll sustain the it's objection. It's not offered to prove I'll the truth of the matter asserted, Your I'll Honor. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Well, let's go to. She tried. The third page. She tried. and got my tumble. Fourth page. So Smack. It has get that shit out of here. A five, I think, is what I'm trying to get to. So it says paragraph seven. So do you recall that it says in here? Uh, Objection hearsay, Your Honor. Your Honor. She's just trying to back to where you're ruling. Boy, this is spicy. I wonder what Amber Heard's thinking right there. I really do. I wish we could hear her inner voice. I really do. <laughs> and Johnny's just chilling. Yo, I bet you after this trial's done, him and her become, I, I bet, I bet him and that lawyer, I don't know what her name is, I bet you they get spotted out in some posh L.A. scene one day. I just feel like they got a bond going. You know what I mean? Just, just the vibe I get. Basically, she said, "But, but, 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 why can't I admit stuff?" I feel like that too. She's like, "We honor. They got stuff in evidence. I want to put some stuff in evidence too." Mr. Wiggum, the article also had pictures, did it not? I think she got rejected. I think she she lost that too. I don't recall. Did Do you she? recall whether it had a picture of Ms. Heard? Jackson hearsay, Your Honor. I love that. Do you, do you I don't recall. Can we go to the eighth page? Amber's sitting there in person, but I feel like in spirit she's beating the shit out of Johnny right now on her head. I'm showing you the picture right now. Does that refresh your <laughs> recollection? Your Honor, uh, hearsay, lack of foundation. Yeah, I'll allow it. Yo, hearsay merch coming out, for real. It, it, it doesn't speak to my impression of when I read it or how I read it, but I see the photo. Yes, ma'am. All right, and in fact, it shows bruises on it, doesn't it? On Ms. Hurd's face? Objection, lack of foundation. Overruled. So that would be what I see, yes. Okay. Now, Mr. Depp filed a lawsuit against the Sun newspaper and against Dan Wooten for this article, correct? I, I believe so. June 13, 2018. Let's pull up uh, 1599, defendants 1599. Does this refresh your recollection? Objection hearsay, Your Honor. I'm just, uh, just for refreshing recollection, I'll allow. Uh, I, I'm, just so I understand the question, you're asking, does it refresh a memory that Johnny filed suit against the Sun? Yes, and Dan Wooten. On June 13, 2018. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. All right. And he did so in the UK, in the High Court of Justice, correct? 
I believe so. You, oh. you would know better than I. Okay. And if we can just turn to page nine. And do you recall that Mr. Depp alleged that that article had caused him serious harm to his personal and professional reputation? Objection hearsay calls for speculation. I'll allow the question. Thank you. No, I don't recall. Do you recall that Mr. Depp alleged that the article by, in the Sun newspaper by Dan Wooten had caused serious harm to the claimant's personal and professional reputation? She's trying to undercut what he she said by saying. I don't recall it. I was not involved in that case at all. Uh, I'm able to read what's in front of me. But you don't recall it, and you don't recall if that had any impact on, on Disney in 2018. Objection asked and answered. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. All right. Do you recall that Mr. Depp also alleged that he was caused significant distress and embarrassment by the publication of that article? No, that, I don't recall that. Okay. I, I, I say that because I just was not involved in that case. I... All right. My memory of, of that was it was a, a tabloid, so and the, the lawyers were handled. All right. Michelle, you can take that down. Thank you. Now, there was a trial in the UK. Was there not on Mr. Depp's claims of libel against Dan Wooten and the son? Johnny's not happy. So. Look at him. And it was in July of 2020, was it not? I don't remember the date, actually. All right. And it lasted three weeks. Do you recall that? I don't, but I'll take your word for it. Do you recall there being an enormous amount of publicity surrounding that trial? Objection calls for speculation, uh, lack of foundation. Uh, he I'll, said he I'll, did. I'll, Thank I'll, you. I'll, I'm sorry, Mr. Wiggum, you said you did recall that? Asked and answered. I'll allow it. <laughs> I, I remember there being press around it, yes, ma'am. Okay, and in fact, uh, do you recall that Mr. Depp gave testimony for four days? Not specifically, I don't. Do you recall that Ms. Hurd gave testimony for four days? Damn. I, I don't recall any specific, specific memory of who testified or how long or any any details within the case. Do you recall there being many, many witnesses testifying at that case, on that case? I think I'd revert to my answer just now. Okay. Yes. And the press that surrounded that case, do you recall it being, uh, focusing on things like Mr. Depp's drug and alcohol use? <laughs> Same answer. Do you recall there being the video, the kitchen video, being shown repeatedly? Objection. Your Honor, may we approach? Sure. She's asking stuff that he doesn't know. She just keeps on saying that for what purpose? That's what he's about to be like. Yo, like, like, lady, you're wasting our time here. Like, he said he wasn't there. He, he, he don't know. He wasn't involved. He didn't testify in it. It's wasting our goddamn time. Jeez. What's going on here? This 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 testimony is like spicy and kind of crazy for sure. Objection overruled. In fact, I don't even want you guys to talk to me unless you say objection was, followed by whatever it is you want to say to me. A lot of publicity surrounding Mr. Depp's alcohol and drug use. I, I think I answered that. Oh, that right. That's right. I was on I the video, recall. the kitchen video. Do you recall there being the, the kitchen video being played pretty repeatedly in the press? No, I don't. Do you recall a lot of pictures of Ms. Hurd reflecting bruises, cuts, injuries? I, I think, I, just to be clear, I, I don't recall anything that was going on within the case. I was always consumed with next film and TV opportunities, and that was being handled by the lawyers. Do you, do you recall, I just have a couple more to ask you on this. Do you recall there being allegations of at least 
14 incidents of domestic violence against Ms. Hurd in that trial? I do not, with specificity, same answer. Do you know who wrote, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath, this has to change? I wouldn't say that, I, to me, it, I would have assumed it was Ms. Heard. You assumed, but you don't know, do you? I do not. Okay, and were you aware that there were also three pleaded incidents of sexual violence in the UK trial against Ms. Heard by Mr. Depp? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, your testimony is, you can take that down, no, thank you. Your testimony is that since some point in 2020, uh, Mr. Depp has not had any uh, more movie opportunities, is that correct? The last film that he shot was Minamata, to the best of my memory. All right. And in fact, do you know whether the, uh, the, the article that was in the UK, the ensuing lawsuit that was brought by Mr. Depp, and the ensuing trial and all the publicity, do you know whether that had any impact on Mr. Depp's career? Objection compound. Uh, all right, I'll sustain the objection. Do you know whether the collection of all of those items I just listed had an impact on Mr. Depp's career? It, remind me of the dates that you're asking about. So, so the answer, I, I take it, is no, you don't know, correct? To the dates. I, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I give you a, a correct answer so I understand the question. You referenced after 2020. Okay. The, is that what you're saying? The, the article was April of 2018. The lawsuit was June of 2018. The trial was July of 2020. What opportunities has Mr. Depp had since July 2020? Since July 2020, he has not uh, done a film. Thank you, I have no further questions. All right, redirect. Good afternoon again, Mr. Wiggum. Uh, do you recall Ms. Bredehoft asked you uh, questions about whether you ever actually saw a document uh, containing the $22.5 million deal for Mr. Depp for Pirate 6. Do you recall that? I do. And do you recall when you were trying to answer her question, you said you needed a little more context. Do you recall that? Yes. And would you please now provide the jury that context so they can have a fuller understanding of what your, what your testimony is? So often on a franchise movie, when you're dealing with big stars and you're talking about future optional pictures, uh, you engage at the high level, uh, meaning the president or the, the top of the studio to get an understanding of what that deal is going to, going to be. They then get papered typically, when I say papered, it amended because it's, it's based on the same contract usually that's been in existence and it would get sometimes we don't see paperwork or get paperwork until the film is happening and mr wiggum on a similar line that's a good cleanup uh, miss bredehoft asked you some questions about whether after this deal was done it was uh, starting to trend badly with respect to disney and not so and and what and still well with respect to mr bruckheimer in the fall of 2018. Do you remember that testimony? I do. When was it that Disney made the final decision as to whether Mr. Depp would be in Pirate 6? I'll sustain the objection. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. M Mr. Wiggum, it, it may have been trending badly as of that time, but Disney had not gone in, in the other direction, correct? Okay. No. So the, the, email you showed me earlier, 
you may, you may continue. The email you showed me earlier was two days after the op-ed, and and I was saying that Disney had never said that Johnny would not be oh, in the oh, film oh. as of that date. Overall, right. and my it, it was my testimony is the exact same as the deposition, which is it was trending badly in the late fall on behalf of Disney, but I was, but Jerry Brockheimer and I were lobbying to make it happen. And so we had hope and it became clear to me in early 2019 that it was over. Thank you very, Mr. Thank you very much, Mr. Wiggum. No further questions. Man, what? I, I, like my eyes are burning from watching what I just watched here with Objection Fest 2022. That was, I, I don't even know what the final tabulation of how many objections were sh shouted out, primarily from the, the defense team. Uh, but but as to be expected, uh, Johnny's uh, counsel, you know, threw in a couple here and there, although it seemed more, more reasonable. But to, it goes to show you how bad they did not want his testimony as the actual agent who's dealing with, with the studios on the numbers and locking in deals and him clarifying at the end there how it works in Hollywood. Things are verbally agreed upon. These are the numbers. And until we actually are going to start filming, that's when the paperwork goes out, which which I'm not in the film industry, but it makes sense, though. Like, they're not – why would they set – send you stuff beforehand they, they, they probably formally uh had those conversations agree to some, some basic terms and then once they go into production then they would probably disseminate all the paperwork because now now you're officially about to start working right you think about it like that like that's when you actually start working so it, it makes sense and i think i think them clearing it up uh with the redirect um went a long way but god that could have been we could have saved, I don't know, 20 minutes out of the entire testimony and got it done a little bit faster had we not had all those objections. Super, super cringe. Super cringe. But definitely, definitely entertaining. You feel me? <laughs>